Hi everyone. Today's presentation is about Oracle and Deca information discovery, a very powerful analytical tool offered by Oracle. In today's presentation, we'll talk about what Endeka can do for our business. With Endeka, we can design uh, user interfaces and dashboards like the one you can see on this presentation. As you can see, this is a dashboard, a very interactive dashboard. So we will talk about uh, this uh, dashboard in a few minutes. First, uh, Oracle Indica and Deca Information Discovery provides a great visibility and decision making capability to the business user by means of a user interface and dashboards. Oracle and Deca has a three components Studio, Oracle and Deca Server, and Integration Suite. Studio. Studio is a highly interactive component based environment. With Studio, we can design highly interactive user interfaces, dashboards. It provides visibility and better decision making capabilities to the business users and give business users all they need and freedom to explore the data in an interactive manner. And finally, the result is they can make the better decision to grow the business. And they can server, formerly known as the MDX engine. It is a hybrid search analytical database, provides analytical search and navigation capability on a diverse changing information. Other advantages of Enteca server is it is in memory analytics. And finally, the integration suite. It is used to load the data into the Enteca server. So with the integration suite, we can get the data from all type of databases, structure, non-structures, and then load into the Enteca server. And then with the help of a studio, we can design our dashboards. Oracle information discovery adopts to the changes automatically. It doesn't matter where the information resides or if it is structured or unstructured. Oracle and Deca information discovery has a database specifically designed with a highly flexible data model. It, it supports virtually any kind of data from any source, like the data from a database, file system, unstructured data like Twitter feed or Facebook feed. We don't even need to define a unified schema before loading data in Endeka because Oracle Endeka Interactive Information Discovery drives a data model directly from the data. In today's uh, presentation, we will talk about a dashboard designed on Oracle EBS Order to Cash Flow. In Oracle Order to Cash Flow, we interact with following modules order management inventory, customer, invoice, pricing. As you can see from the sample dashboard, we have information about the customers, invoices, discounts, like what sort of promotions, discounts are there, what price list has more discounts associated with it, quantity shipped, quantity picked, quantity order, and many more. As stated, Oracle and Deca Studio. So this this presentation is not focused on Integration Studio or Endeka Server. It's focused on Studio. As stated earlier, Endeka Studio is a component-based environment and provides a lot of powerful components to present the data. In today's presentation, we talk about the components like we have a search box, breadcrumbs, guided navigations, alerts, metric bar, tag clouds, result data, graphs, and data explorer. Let's talk about search box. So this dashboard has data from order to cash flows. So now let me, uh, okay, search box is basically to help you to search. This is not a simple search box. It search not only the data, but the data fields also. Let me search for something called equate. So as you can see, there is a customer name equate. Let me see what I got. So the 
the search box not only returned me a customer name with a equate but it also returned me another field called order type which has which is like equate test order so it's not only search the data but it's search, search the columns also the data fields also so now if we, as as you see you can see as of now the see the data for our sample structure but if i select the customer name equate the whole dashboard will represent the data related to equate only now you can see the number of order line change the data in the table is represented only for the customer name equate there's a change in the graph everything is changed because we we put a filter we because we are now analyzing the data for the customer name equate so let me delete this let me delete the filter and let's search for the equate again so let me search for now equate test order so my system is displaying me only one record because there is only one record exists for this order type so to remove the filter just press the delete all so as you see the search is a very uh, powerful search here it not only search the data but also the the data fields now go back let's search for like we have a different okay now, the, now you understand breadcrumbs also. Let's talk about the guided navigation. Guided navigation is a very important component. It provides user many possibilities to filter and analyze the data. As you can see, I have the following categories to filter the data in my dashboard. Customer, invoices, discounts, others, and shipping. So as you can see, we can search. So the guided navigation helped me to search. Let me explore the customer. Let me explore the customer name. So it, it show me all these are these are the customers for which we have data in the system. Like for the customer name e it, it has 152 records. And the customer name business bird has a seven records. Let me select this. Now you look into the breadcrumbs as a filter business word. So we have a data for the business words only. Now, if you want to put the additional filters, let me do that. We can do put the additional filters. Now, if you look into the breadcrumbs, we have a two filters and data system is displaying data which is has a customer name business word and the order type is mixed order. So let me. Another important uh, component is alert. We can add the alerts based on our, our business needs. Let me see. I have one alert. If I select the view more, I can see the more. So my alert is to display order not number of orders not yet processed. Let me expand that. So it will system is displaying me like there are 286 order which are not yet processed. Similarly, we can put the important information here, which is basically very critical for our business, like back orders, credit holds, inventory shortage, and many more based on your business needs. Then we have a metrics bar, another powerful control to highlight the information that is important for your business. Like in my dashboards, I have a number of order lines, order line, number of order lines, order quantity, shipped quantity, picked quantity, booked revenue, and revenue recognized. Uh, as of now, everything is in gray. We can basically, if something is very critical, we can associate uh, uh, different colors to them. Like something which is critical and it's below the threshold, we can put a red color. And which is above the threshold, we can put a green color. And the, the good thing is the whole system, the whole dashboard change based on the data you selected. Like again, if I go to the ABC Corp worldwide, which has a four records, see the how this, the whole dashboard is changed. Now the number of order lines are four, order quantity four, shipped is zero, picked is zero, Although I booked the revenue, but actually nothing has been shipped. So recognized revenue is null. Let me remove the filter. Then we have a tag clouds. As everybody know in the age of a social media, tag clouds help me to put a filter again. So I put a tag clouds for the different order type. Now if I select a 
particular tag cloud it will display me the data for that other type only then we have a result table to basically did display the data in a tabular manner uh, we in the in the, in the result table we can fix few of the columns and make rest of the column uh, unfixed like you can see the customer name order number line status are fixed but rest of the columns are not fixed when i say not fixed if i go to the column set i can say okay i want to see the order data so now i can see the rest of the data in a non-fixed column related to order but these three columns are fixed other important thing is we can print this table or export the table to the XLS Microsoft Excel. Then we have a graphs to display to represent our data in a graphical manner. In my graph, I am basically displaying every item and how much quantity has been ordered for that item, picked, shipped, and cancelled. Now, if you look into that for the AS1000 order quantity in a blue color, pick quantity in a yellow, ship quantity and then the cancel quantity. And if I want to see which price list has a more discount, trade charges associated with that, I have a, another graph which says the price list D0007A has around $5,000 of discounts associated with it. And then we have a, finally we have a data explorer to basically display the data in an ungrouped manner so as you can see an oracle antica is a really very helpful uh, to design the dashboard like this you and uh, the advantage of oracle antica is it's a very easy to design and deploy these kind of dashboards the same thing can be done with the bi but the advantage of the Oracle Antica is we can basically group together structured and unstructured data. Like I can put the data from the uh, Facebook APIs or Twitter APIs and I can club together the data from Facebook or Twitter with the Oracle ERP, SAP ERP or anything else. So, it's a, so, so as a uh, point is, it's easy to design the dashboards uh, interactive dashboards with Oracle and Deca. So that's all for now. Uh, if you have a question, feel free to contact me. Uh, my contact information is like you can send me an email or you can go to my blog and post the comments. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, feel free to contact me if you need any, any additional information.